microphone. You guys just played your last game to the young center. What, what are you feeling right now? Uh, sad, man. Um, just sad. It's, it's crazy how quickly this whole experience and this whole journey has gone by. Um, there's no other place in the country like it. It's just the feeling that I'm never going to be able to play there again. It sucks. Uh, Coach Mack said, you want to answer? You know, how you got it. Okay. Uh, Coach Mack said you played one of your better all-around games since you've been here. You agree with that? And how did that come about? Uh, my last game here, so I didn't want to go out, have my last game here be on a on a bad note. So you know, I just try to do my best to do little things just to help my team win. So uh, for both of you, the, the defense seemed to really keep you guys in the game throughout the first half, and then you know into the second, even when the offense started going. How did you how did you manage to contain Virginia Tech in that first half? I don't know. I think we did a great job of locking in on the scouting report and the personnel, and um, we had great energy, and we weren't letting our lack of offense in the first half really affect our defense. And I think that's a reason why, despite our poor offensive outing in the first half, we were able to stick with them, you know, and keep it at even going into halftime, and then uh, sustain that defense in the second half, and then we went on our run. I know our offense kind of finally picked up. That was, that was good right there. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you talked yesterday about being a more all-around player than when, when you got here. Fitting that your last play in the young center was that pass to David that maybe a couple years ago you might have turned over. Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, you know, just that was my goal coming in here. I knew I could shoot the ball and just wanted to become an all-around complete player and add, add something more to my game every year just to help our team win. Both players. I wonder if you could give us your sense of anxiety or confidence about Malik and, and when he'll be back and how you think you're, you're faring with that. Um, you know, obviously it really hurts not having him, having him able to go. But you know, I, I have confidence he'll be able to go on on a Saturday when we need him. You now, obviously, we, we would have liked him to be out there tonight, but. You know, Malik's a really tough kid. I think it was a smart move for him to take it easy this game. Uh, and really just focus on him getting ready to go next week. Um, Virginia is a much bigger team, and we're going to need him. So, you know, I'm, he's going to get with Fred and just keep getting treatment on, on that ankle. He's gonna, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be all right. Yeah, I mean, he's a tough kid. Um, he's been getting treatment every single day just to try to get him right. And, you know, I know more than anybody he wants to be out there you know so he's going to do everything he can to give himself the best opportunity to do it so if he's not out there you know he, he wouldn't even be able to play at 25 percent because I know he'll want to be out there. And short and long that line with, with Malik out what kind of things did you feel like you had to do in the middle to kind of fill in you know rebounding and, and, and blocking out you know just just to have that same kind of presence? Yeah, I feel like I just had to, you know, help the team rebound more and, and be a little more vocal, maybe than I usually am. So, you know, because Malik's a big a big piece in both of those things. So I feel like I just had to step up in those those aspects. Brian, it's not often that the other team attempts more three pointers than you guys do, and not often that you guys only you know make six of them. Uh, yeah. Did you guys feel like uh, like that was affecting confidence at all in, in the beginning of the game when shots were not going in or? No, I don't think so because I think we were getting the shots that we wanted. Um, it'd be one thing if we were taking terrible shots, but um, we were, we, I thought we were taking good, you know, good shots. We were getting good looks. We just weren't knocking them down. And um, yeah, I mean, in the scouting report, it showed that they should shoot a lot of threes. So um, we were expecting that, and they do that by getting the ball in the lane and, and spraying and playing. So we were doing our best to prevent them from doing it. But I mean, they shoot it at a high clip and they shoot it well. So um, couldn't. Didn't do an incredible job, but we did enough. Jordan, how different does it feel uh, with one week left before the postseason? How, how confident, how different does it feel this year heading into this final weekend, into the post postseason as opposed to last? Um, you know, it's a, it's a big difference. Um, you know, I feel like we have a lot more older guys, you know, experienced guys, guys that have been there. Uh, 
and I feel like we kind of know what we need to do moving forward, um, going to the postseason. But, you know, I know for us right now, we're all focused on our game Saturday because if we win that game, we can be ACC champs regular season. So that's kind of what we're worried about right now. But in terms of going to the postseason, you know, I'm sure our mind, everybody's mindset is, is right. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to have a lot better outing this time around. One more right in the middle. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's part of it. I think that, you know, my teammates put me in a, in a good position to do that as well. <clears throat> there were times, you know, he found, Ryan found me on a post up, uh, just little things like that. You know, we moved a lot, a lot better today. Um, that also opened up some things, you know, there are times that our offense gets a little stagnant. So, you know, I feel like when we move and everybody, you know, we have a lot of movement on offense. We have the talent to, to get it done. We just can't be, be stagnant, and uh, that kind of helps, you know, open up lanes and help me get to the room. So. Great. Thanks, guys. That's All it. All right, y'all. Thanks, guys. <laughs>